Practice and homework, lesson 3.9. Estimate, then find the difference. Number one, estimate 6.5 minus 3.9. We know that first, we have to subtract the tenth place. We can't do 5 minus 9, so we have to regroup, subtract this 6. We have to regroup this 6 into a 5 and carry the 1 over here, and this becomes 15 minus 9. And 15 minus 9 is 6, like this. And then we can do 5 minus 3, which is 2. And our answer is 2.6. Number 2. Estimate 4.23 minus 2.51. 3 minus 1 is 2. We can't subtract 2 minus 5, so we're going to regroup. This turns into a 3. This turns into a 12. 12 minus 5 is 7, and 3 minus 2 is 1. Number 3, estimate 8.6 minus 5.1. 6 minus 1 is 5, 8 minus 5 is 3. So our answer is 3.5. Number 4, 2.71. Minus 1.34. We can't do 1 minus 4, so we're going to regroup right here. This turns into a 6, and then this turns into an 11. Now, 11 minus 4 is 7. 6 minus 3 is just 3. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So our answer is 1.37. Find the difference, check your answer. 16.3 minus 4.4. .4. We can't do 3 minus 4, so we're going to regroup here. This turns into a 5. This turns into a 13. 13 minus 4, that's 9. Then we have 5 minus 4, that's 1. And the 1 just drops down. And that gives us 11.9. That gives us 11.9. Number 6, 12.56 minus 5.18. We can't subtract 6 by 8, so we're going to regroup. This becomes a 4, and this becomes a 16 minus 8, which is just 8. 4 minus 1 is 3. And we can't do 2 minus 5, so we're going to regroup from this one. It's turned into a 0, and this turns into a 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. That leaves us with 7.38. Number 11. 11.63 minus 6.7. Well, I'm going to rewrite that. 11.63 minus 6.7. Well, this 3 is just going to drop down right here. We can't subtract 6 by set from 7, so we're going to regroup this 1, turn to a 0, this is turn to 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. And we can't subtract 0 and 6, so we're going to regroup this 1, this turns into a 0, and this 0 turns into a 10. 10 minus 6 is 4, so our answer is 4.93. Number 8. 5.24, 5.24 minus 2.14. Well, 4 minus 4, that's just 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. And 5 minus 2 is 3. That gives us an answer of 3.1. Problem solving, real world. Number nine, the width of a tree was 3.15 inches last year. This year, the width is 5.38 inches. How much did the width of the tree increase? So last year was 3.15, and then it went to 5.38. If we want to see the difference of how much it increased, we have to subtract 5.38. by 3.15, like that.
3. 8 minus 5, 3. 3 minus 1, 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. And our answer is 2.23 inches. Number 10. The temperature decreased from 71.5 degrees Fahrenheit to 56.8 degrees Fahrenheit. How much did the temperature drop? So we want to see how much it dropped, what the difference was, or what the change was. We're going to have to subtract 71.5 by 56.8. Again, starting in the tens place, 5 minus 8. We can't do that, so we're going to regroup from this 1. This turns into a 0, and this turns into a 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. Now we have 0 minus 6, but we can't do that, so we're going to regroup from the 7. The 7 is going to turn into a 6, and the 0 is going to turn into a 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 6 minus 5 is 1. That's 14.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Or we can just put degrees that it changed, or that it dropped. Number 11, write math. Write a decimal subtraction problem that requires regrouping to solve, then solve the problem. All right, well, this problem is going to look like, now the question is, I bought 1.6 pounds of meat, and I cooked 0 0.8 pounds. How much is left? So if I have 1.6 pounds, 1.6 pounds, and I cooked 0.8, how much is left? So I'm going to subtract those. Well, I can't do 6 minus 8, so I'll have to regroup here. It's going to turn into a 0, and it's going to turn into a 16. 16 minus 8, well, that's just 8, and our answer is 0.8. And that's our answer. Lesson check. Number one. During training, Janice kayaked 4.68 miles on Monday and 5.61 miles on Tuesday. How much farther did she kayak on Tuesday? Well, if we want to see how the difference between 5.61 and 4.68, we're going to subtract 5.61. By 4.68, like that. So we can't do 1 minus 8, so we're going to regroup again. 5 and 11. Well, 11 minus 8 is 3. And we can't do 5 minus 6, so we're going to regroup from over here. This gives us 4, and this is 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. Then we have 4 minus 4, that's just 0. So she kayaked. 0 0.93 miles more on Tuesday than she did on Wednesday. Number two, Devin had a length of rope that was 4.78 meters long. He cut a 1.45 meter length from it. How much rope does he have left? This is very similar to the meat problem. If we have 4.78 meters, and he cut, he got rid of, or he removed, 1.45 meters, that means he's subtracting it. So we're going to subtract 4.78 by 1.45. So 8 minus 5 is 3. 7 minus 4 is 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. So our answer is 3.33. 3. Spiral review. Number 3. A dairy farm has 9 pastures and 630 cows. The same number of cows are placed in each pasture. How many cows are in each pasture? So if we're equally dividing or equally separating the cows into the nine pastures, and we want to know how many cows in each pasture, we're going to divide 630 by 9. Okay, well, how many times does 9 go into 6? Zero. How many times does 9 go into 63? Seven. 
9 times 7 is 63. You get 0. We drop down to 0. How many times is 9 going to 0? Well, 0. So we get an answer of 70 cows. 70 cows in each pasture. Number 4. Moya records 6.75 minutes of an interview on one tape and 3.75 minutes of the interview on another tape. How long was the total interview? So she did one interview in two different tapes. The first one was 6.75 minutes, and the second one was 3.75 minutes. So we're looking for the total interview time. We're going to add these two. 6.75 plus 3.75. 5 plus 5 is 10. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. Carry the 1. 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So our total interview time was 10.5 minutes. Number five, Joanna, Dana, and Tracy, Tracy shared some trail mix. Joanna ate 0.125 pounds of trail mix. Dana ate 0.1 pound of And Tracy ate 0.12 pound of trail mix. List the friends in order from least to greatest. Least. So we're looking for the lowest number first. So let's look at the tens place. In the tenth place, we have, we all have ones here, ones here. Now we look at the hundreds place. Well, the hundreds place of da Dana is a zero, so Dana has a hundreds place of zero. Joanna has a hundreds place of two, and Tracy has a hundreds place of two. So we know that Dana has the least. So first, it's Dana. Now we have to figure out who's next. Who has the higher thousands place? So here, Tracy has a thousandth place of zero, nothing there, and Joanna has a thousandth place of five. Now, what's greater, five or zero? Well, five is. So that means Tracy has the second least. Tracy has the second least, and then the greatest out of all of them is Joanna. Joanna. The local park has four bike racks. Each bike rack can hold 15 bikes. There are 16 bikes in the bike racks. What expression shows the total number of empty spaces? Empty spaces in the bike rack. Well, we know there are four bike racks, and each has 15 bikes, or each can hold 15 bikes. If you want to know the total amount of bikes that it can hold, or the four bike racks can hold, we have to multiply by 15. And if, 50, if 4 times 15 represents the the total number of bikes, the total, the total number of bikes that the bike racks can hold, and we know that there's being 16 bikes, bike racks already being used. There's 16 bikes in the bike racks. If you want to see, we subtract that. We subtract the 16, and these are the ones that are being used. To find the empty bike racks, the empty. So this expression right here, we're going to find the total first, the total number of available bike racks. And then we're going to subtract by the ones that are already being used, and we're going to get the number of empty bike racks. So this would be our expression: four times fifteen minus sixteen. 